All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to do a video where you can see, and this is an ideal I came up with the other day on crystals. The little ones. And it's hard for me to do this video because I can't hardly see crap. But these are the little crystals. Got my bench grinder up here. Take a crystal and put it in a, a vice grip for just the end of it is sticking out. And hopefully I can grind the end of it off and then take his pick and pick the silver bits out. I'll post this video whether it works or not. If it doesn't work, it'll be titled, What Not To Do. If it does work, it'll be titled, Hey, This Works, or something similar. So let's get started. Standard bench grinder. Little noisy. see what we come up with. Well, first of all, I didn't have a good enough grip on the crystal. Slid right out of there, but let's see if I got the cavity open enough. Yep. Maybe I'm on to something. If I can just get in there and... Uh-oh, I hear stuff crackling. Yeah, got some of it out, but not quite sure I got it all and again I will post this video either way hopefully it works though I've been seeing a lot of videos and people trying different ways to get these little ones open the bigger ones yeah probably can't see inside that bowl because the bowl's dirty but Look at there. See all them silver bits? Let me find something and wipe this bowl out. And I'm going to lose that little bit of silver. But I want to clean this bowl. So that maybe we can see better. Get all the dirt out of it. All the dirt that I can anyways. I don't want to use a white t-shirt. Normally I've got a rag around here somewhere. Ha! Huh. I found my cleanest dirty rag. Now, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I had to make me a little thing to put my phone on to make this work. Alright, we're going to do it again. Bow is dirt free. Let me get a better bite on one of these little dudes. And these are all crystals that I got off of uh, a lot of those boards from that TV repair shop haul. All right, better bite. Let's try it again. Well, this one didn't work out so well. I ground away by 
about half of the damn crystal. But let's see if we can recover anything out of it. If I can get it open. It seems that the grinder wants to just fold one of the edges over instead of open it. Oh, and yes, I'm wearing eye protection. Well, that one didn't work out so well. Let's try one more and see what we get. And if I fail this time, I guess I'll call it. Get a little bit less grip or less of the crystal sticking out. This very corner of it. Let's see what happens. It doesn't take them long to grind the end off or it doesn't take the grinder long I got that first one open no problem but for some reason I, I don't I don't know what's going on here Okay, guys. Okay, I think I got it. I got a little opening to where I can get. I don't know if you can see that opening or not. Where I can get in there. Oh, and it's extremely warm today. Yeah, here we go. I hear it cracking in there. Pull the bowl over here before I pull the. Well, he always been wasn't kidding when he said these things are hard to crack open. But I did get some silver out of there. Whether I got it all or not, I don't know. I'm kind of doubting it but I did get a big bunch of it I mean not a big bunch because there's not a lot in these little dudes but it's I don't know you guys I could probably do a lot of them and get a little bit but do a few of them you don't get much at all um, so that was the second one I did there was the first one I did not sure this is worth the effort I just wonder if you could dissolve the whole thing like you do the silver oxide batteries in dilute nitrate 
50% distilled water and 50% nitrogen. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not holding my mouth right. Uh, just takes a little extra picking. I would almost think, and if any of the guys that have ever refined any of these or recovered any of these knows, feel free to comment. Uh, but I would almost think you cut them in half or break the crack the seal on them like you do with the silver oxide batteries and then soak the whole thing I, I don't know I, I've not processed any of these and I've not talked to very many refiners that have I'm sure there's some out there that do that, uh, silver fox maybe he does a lot of silver um, and don't ask me to there's a guy on there, his real name's Ralph. I don't know what it, how to say his daggone channel name. He does a lot of silver. But I don't know if they've done any of these little crystals. We'll try one more and see what the outcome is. I may be gripping too tight and closing it down. Try it one more time. I shouldn't have done that. Now we got a hole in this one we can get maybe get it peeled open I thought we did I'm going to grip back down on this with these vice grips I'm going to shove that pick through my finger if I don't Ceramic in there cracking. Yeah, getting some out of it. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to do every one of these like this. Because it seems like a bit of work. I'm not scared of work. But, when dealing with silver, the less work you have to do the better off you are because like Ben was saying well I think silver yesterday was $15 an ounce US but I think Ben Ben's video may have been a little older I just watched it the other day uh, he was saying $20 US right now I think it's right around 15 so I'm to me it's not worth this amount of work I'm just doing this to see if it would work for some of you guys that focus a lot on silver oh yeah good bit of silver out of that one There's what the, the crystals winds up looking like. No, don't know how well you guys can see that. But
and if you can see it right in there is that silver and ceramic that I got out of those three crystals well I did four but I couldn't get the other one open I'll work on it later maybe but don't know how well you can see it in its stainless steel bowl but that's all the silver and ceramic crap all broken up it looks to be more ceramic than, well I know it's more ceramic than silver but if you're going to refine it you're going to dissolve the silver in a dilute nitric and filter it and there you go when you filter it you get all that ceramic crap out of there get this off of my homemade phone holder thing but there you go that's these little dudes here if that's too close or not can't see yeah, these little dudes here Ryobi bench grinder which is normally not that loud but it's not mounted to my bench because there's already too much shit on my bench anyways uh, I don't know y'all let me know what you think if it works for you there you go happy hunting y'all uh, like comment subscribe more to come thank you